birthday you gave us April 27th, 2020. So the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. We come to the final attribute of that beautiful fruit tonight. We come to self-control. The meaning of the word is evident within the stating of the word. It is to have control of self. Many people have lives which are out of control. They are quite dangerous lives where they can cause all kinds of trouble through the excesses that come out of their lives. But the Christian, the true one who has the Spirit of God and connection with the living God, is to have self-control. It's as if when we place ourselves under God, we are properly controlled. That when self is submitted to God, then self properly controls our whole beings. It's an interesting way of these things fitting together. But we are not properly self-controlled until we are God-controlled. When we think about this issue, we need to remember that it is critical that it is God controlling us. You see, we can go for self-control according to me. And that then becomes a determination on my part, with my strength, with my will, to do certain things. It is a me strength. In the end, that is just a fundamentally a pride issue. I will be the one that achieves these things. And it is a work of the flesh, even though it might have something that has the appearance of the work of the Spirit. We need to be careful that we continually submit ourselves to God, that we would have the true nature of self-control in our lives. Self-control, then, is the last attribute as described of the fruit of the Spirit. That's interesting, isn't it? And I think it is pertinent, for it would show us that the self-control at the end binds everything else together. It's like a belt. You sometimes read of it in Scripture, that there is a girding up of the loins, as if everything of the clothing is girded up so that the human that the person is able to function most efficiently and the belt would bind together all of those garments so that the person can move around. And so it is with self-control. It binds up all of the rest of the fruit. It har harmonizes them together so that, the, the, so that we can live efficiently for God. Yeah, you see, we're all prone to have our... Uh, our ways and with the fruit of the spirit it could be that one of the aspects just develops in an inappropriate way beyond the others and it ends up looking quite ugly but self-control make sure that doesn't happen make sure that everything is bound together to produce a, a healthy wholesome beautiful fruit so finally with the fruit of the spirit the fruit of the spirit is self-control are you self-controlled? Am I self-controlled? We need God to be self-controlled. That is the day you gave us, April 27th, 2020.